Uh, in this part, we will discuss <coughs> on some questions on argument deductions. In this part, we will identify the premises, write the argument forms, and we will check the validity for the given argument form. Dear all, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment my channel. Now let us start from questions number one. For the following argument given below, A, B, and C, then identify the premises, write the argument forms, check the validity. <clears throat> now let us start from A. If he studies medicine, he will get a good job. If he gets a good job, he will get a good wage. He did not get a good wage. Therefore, he did not study medicine. Now, uh, this is a government statement. The, this is the argument. Now, we will identify the promise. We write the argument form and uh, we'll check the validity. Now, here, the premises are given, which is if he studies medicine, he will get a good job. Another one is if he gets a good job, he will get a good wage. He did not get a good wage. Those are the premises. And the conclusion is, which is the statement after this statement that doesn't after this means that the conclusion is he did not study medicine. Now the other one is we will write the argument form for this by symbolizing the given statement. Now uh, the argument form is given us first by letting P as he studies medicine, Q he will get a good job, R he will get a good wage. Now the argument form or the symbolic form for this argument form is written as like this. P implies Q. Q implies R, negation R. Those are as premises and the conclusions as negation P. Then uh, we will check the validity for this argument form. Now the argument form is given here. Uh, then its validity is checked by uh, either by using constructing the terms table or by using formal definitions. Uh, now, uh, the argument form is given here, which is P implies Q, Q implies R, negation R, with conclusion negation P. The, con the uh, truth tables for this argument deduction is given here. Since we have three propositions or three statements, P, Q, and R, then there are eight possible combinations to those values are given. So uh, P has true values like true, 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 false, 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 and the key was true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. R has true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Then based on P negation, P becomes since by using the definitions of negations, if P is true, negation P is false, or if P is false, negation P is true, then negation P has those values false, 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 true, 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 true. And the similarly, negation R is false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. P implies Q using the definitions of implications. P implies Q is false if P is true, Q is false. So that P implies Q as true value, true, true, false, false, true, 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 true. Similarly, Q implies R also true, false, true, 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 false, true, true. So that by using those uh, or from these truth tables, we observe that only uh, the premises in row 8 are true. That means since our premises are P implies Q, Q implies R and the negation, R, R, all of those premises are true only in row 8. And the corresponding conclusions, which is negation P is also true, then therefore the given argument reduction is valid.
means that the premises P implies Q, Q implies R, and the negation R are true simultaneously in row 8 only. In this case, the conclusions, which is negation P is true, so that the argument is valid. B. If the team is led, then it cannot play the game. If the referee is here, then the team is can play the game. The team is led, therefore the referee is not here. So the premises for this argument is if the team is led, then it cannot play the game. If the referee is here, then the team is can play the game. The team is led to the premises in the other. The refer is not here, is the conclusions. Next, let us write the argument form. By letting P as the team is led, Q as the team is can play the game, R as the refer is here. So the symbolic form for the given argument becomes like this P implies negation Q, R implies Q. P as premises and with the conclusions negation errors because here P if the team is a let which is P it cannot play the game which means negation Q therefore P implies negation Q if the refer is here then the team is can play this is the conditional statement and if the refer is here is which is R and the team is can play the game is which is Q therefore this is, becomes R implies Q here the team is less which is P so the conclusion which is given here is the refer is not here, which is negation R. Uh, then finally we will check its validity. Since the argument form is given here, P implies negation Q, R implies Q, P negation R is four. Here we have P, Q, and R three statements are given here. Therefore, we have eight possible combinations to those values are exist. Now the truth tables for this. Argument deduction is given here P, Q, R, then P in the Q, P, Q, R, as, uh, they have uh, truth values like this. And the negation Q is based on the values of Q. Negation Q becomes false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. And negation R based on the values of R and the definitions of negation. Negation R becomes false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. P implies negation Q based on the definitions of implication p implies negation q is false false true 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 r implies q is also using definitions of implications true true false true 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 false true so based on this truth tables we can conclude that given argument that that is valid or invalid valid or the truth values of conclusions in which all of the premises are true. Now here only all of the premises are true in row 4. In row 4 all of the premises which is P implies negation Q, R implies Q and the P are true, true, true and the the corresponding conclusions, which is negation R, this is which is true as a result, it is what's valid. Means that the premises P implies negation Q, R implies Q, and the P are true simultaneously in row 4 only. Also, the conclusions takes the values true, means the argument is valid. C. If the professor offers chocolate for an answer, you answer the professor's questions. The professor offers chocolate for an answer, therefore you answer the professor's questions. Now, what are the premises for this statement? Now, the premises are if the professor offers chocolate for an answer, you answer the professor's questions. The professor offers chocolate for an answer. These are the premises, and the conclusion is which is you answer the professor's questions. And the argument form for this uh, given argument becomes 
that is violating the PS, the professor's offers chocolate for an answer. And the key was you answer the professor's questions. So the symbolic form for this is given here P implies Q. P with the compilation Q. So by constructing the truth tables in simple way, we can check its validity. Now the argument form is given here. P implies Q, P with calculation Q. The truth table here, we have only two propositions P in the Q04. They have what? Four possible combinations of truth values are exist. Therefore, P, Q. Then P has truth value to true, false, false. And the Q was true, false, true, false. Then P implies Q using the definitions of implication. P implies Q is false. If P is true, Q is false. Therefore, True implies true is true, true implies false, false, true, false implies true, true, false implies false, which is true. Here, P implies Q and P are the premise, therefore we will check where P implies Q and P are true. Here in first row, both P implies Q and the Q are only true. And the corresponding conclusions, which is Q is also true, as a result is valid in that the premises P implies Q and the P are true simultaneously in row 1 only. In this case, the conclusion Q is also true. Hence, the argument is valid. Dear all, this is to determine whether the given argument is valid or invalid by first for the given uh, argument is in sentence form and by symbolizing the given statements in symbolic form and then next we will check the validity by identifying its premises and the argument form. So the other exercises are continued in such a way. Uh, if you are subscribed, don't forget to like it. And thanks for watching my video.